The Cubs make their first acquisition of the offseason, making a trade with the Rays. We'll tell you all about that. We evaluate Jed Hoyer, his first two years at the helm as Cubs prez, and grade out his 2022 campaign, plus some other news and notes right here. Our Locked On Cubs, your daily Chicago Cubs podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome into Locked On Cubs alongside Sam Olber. I'm Matt Cozy. Pleased to be with you for a Wednesday episode, whenever and wherever you may be listening. Thanks for making this program your first listen every day. Sam and I are lifelong fans, taking our passion into a discussion with you on all things Cubs. So as we go out throughout the week here with some deadlines in Major League Baseball, we thought, hey, the Cubs may be active with a a trade in middle to the end of this week, and they have done that, albeit a smaller deal as the Cubs have acquired Miles Mastrobioni from the Rays. Uh, apologies for pronunciation. 27-year-old uh, utility player drafted in the 14th round by the Rays in the 2016 draft. He made his major league debut this past season, getting a so-called uh, cup of coffee with the Rays. Speaking of coffee, Sam, hopefully your Wednesday or your Tuesday is going well, and uh, let's let's get it going. What's a campaign? <laughs> Where's that from? You you open the show with campaign instead of campaign. <laughs> Should we redo it? Nah, nah, I'm joking around. It rhymes um, with plantain, another uh, energizing food or drink. Being a banana. I, I think it's important to let our listeners know that we are uh, recording this on Tuesday afternoon at 319 Central Time. Right. It's mostly cloudy skies. You've had some snow, 36 degrees. Go ahead. So any any news that breaks after this, you know, will come on on tomorrow's episode. Uh, We had to do this recording because of of Matt and I, our our busy schedules. Um, As far as the Rays trade goes, we predicted it. It was pretty obvious it was going to happen. What do I think of it? Um, I don't have much. It sounds like you know the Cubs need to fill some 40-man spots, and this guy sounds like a guy that makes a lot of sense. He could play uh, multiple infield positions, including shortstop, which is unlike Zach McKinstry. He had a very good year in AAA statistically, so maybe he can help this year's team. But you guys know I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking towards bigger and better things right now. Now, listen. You have to win these trades. I talked about this, and we will talk about this later in the show And we grade Jed Hoyer. You have to start winning these little trades because you never know which trade is going to be the trade that, you know, by winning that trade puts you over the top. And is the difference between, you know, being on the outside looking in and playing mid-October baseball. So we'll see. Hopefully they win it. Hopefully this guy, it sounds like a, like an Italian dish at, at a five-star restaurant. Mastro Bioni, you know, give me a side of marinara and, and, and easy on the meatballs trying to lay off the protein, um, can hit the baseball, and uh, you get a good guy. Okay. Well, maybe we'll clip that one tonight. No, but, yeah, you have uh, a couple of, have, you know, hey, order the Mastro Bioni. It's pretty good here. So Mastro Bioni with massive team control. He's not even ARB eligible until after 25. But, folks, we don't even know if this if this dude is going to play in the major leagues this year. Uh, you know, we talk about the forty man roster. They don't have to fill those spots now. If, if you want to take a player on the margins from the Rays or from whomever, that's fine. That that makes sense that they would try to do that. This just feels like a very similar profile to McKinstry. It doesn't feel like it. It's because it is. He's left handed to- hitter. He's a righty thrower. Go ahead. I have to break some news on this show. Anthony Rizzo has re-signed with the New York Yankees. Wow. That's our uh, first time we've ever had breaking news here on the show. Uh, I, I said this a wow, couple of weeks. that happened week- fast. I said this a couple of weeks ago. I thought that that made the most sense. Why wouldn't he go back there? Uh, but this is bad news for the Cubs. This is bad news because now 
they will be in a bidding war with the Houston Astros for Jose Abreu services. I, I, I know we had a plan on the show to talk about this race thing, uh, but I think we need to pivot. This is bad news uh, for the Chicago Cubs. Yeah, I want Jose Abreu on the north side. Is he a make-or-break player? No, it's just that he's such a fantastic fit. Yeah, and, I, I and was I was a little confused as to the Astros. I mean, I know the Astros have a need at first base, but I thought it, it seemed like a coordinated uh, media push last night with a couple reporters with him going to Houston. I, I was a little skeptical about that. Um, I don't know what the numbers look like. Yes, of course, Rizzo is a great fit with the Yankees. He, he's he's really fit in there since the first time he's been there uh, last summer. Uh, but yeah, more competition now for for Abreu. Uh, it's probably going to be Astros and Cubs. I know the the Marlins and Red Sox were mentioned the other day as well. But but yeah, the price is probably going to go up. And and I think a two year deal still makes sense. But where does he really want to go? Maybe that's what it comes down to. No, I don't like this. Um, disappointing day so far because it's uh, competition. Because I think the Astros make more sense for him, and I wanted them to get yeah. Rizzo. Right. He doesn't like hitting in the cold. But he's but he's done it for so long. I know, but he hasn't done it well. Yeah, so maybe he just threw through that. And There's a to... reason why he won the MVP in 2020. There were no cold months. Yeah, yeah, he was excellent that, that year. Um, um, yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this either. But some Mastro Bioni, and by the way, we have no idea if we're pronouncing that name right. Um his brother was a catcher in the Cubs system and he oh, is getting, please. and he is I getting, don't, listen, <laughs> I folks, I've seen all stuff on everyone's freaking out about this raise trade today in the two o'clock hour, everybody that, and I get it. If you cover the Cubs, you got to cover it, which we do. Who cares that his brother was a double a catcher? He's not even in baseball anymore. I just saw him in the parking lot. Come on. I just How does that of- help the info about this trade? I don't care enough. Come on. I just had chocolate. My teeth are yellow. I don't want to smile. Um, I don't care about his brother, respectfully. He's, he's get- <laughs> How could this guy help the Cubs? Um, uh, 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 um, Any other breaking news? I mean, holy shoot. I get uh, it. Uh, Mastro Bioni getting getting Tommy Lastella and Scooter Jeanette comps, which are, great. Which are two it, nice. Those are great comps. So no, no, no they, come on. Not, not, now you're you're doing a little much. <laughs> okay. You know, if they get a guy that could that could be in the lineup and help, you right. know, uh, that's true. You know, I'm sorry. You know, yeah. Don't don't don't. You know, if you tell me this guy's a lot Tommy of energy. Lestella, if you tell me this guy's Tommy Lastella, I'm going to order the Mastro Bioni. Yeah, that's that's true. And let me give Can you I just his say, num- let me yeah, let me tell you one thing. Okay? I want to give you his numbers. Um, I just want to say be, uh, earlier this morning as I was doing work, I listened to yesterday's program and I thought you were terrific. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. You're terrific every day, so I need to keep up with it. Yeah, I, so- I have two empty Dasani bottles. <laughs> so, so that's your reality right now. Yeah. So man. uh it's Miles Mastrobioni in 22 with the Rays. 300, 377, 469 slash line, 16 AAA. home runs. Right, AAA, 32 doubles, 64 ribbies, 23 stolen bases. He played all over the field. Originally came up as a shortstop, but actually played a ton of games in the outfield in 22 and also 57 games at second. Originally, I thought uh, maybe this was a third base play. I had a third base theory for a couple minutes there. He's only played... 48 games in his entire pro career at third base. So not sure if that's an option or not. We'll see. Um, But this is a deal on the margins. You got to get these deals right. Uh, But I do think depending on roster implications and what the Cubs want to do, whether with minor league options or just other flexibility, maybe you see a non-tender of Zach McKinstry uh, by Friday's deadline. And we say farewell to him before we even really said hello. Just two similar players. I think they could uh, cut him loose by Friday's deadline. Minor league pitcher 
Alfredo Zaraga was the return to the Rays. Uh, he was lights out in his first season of pro ball at uh, 18 innings at high A, uh, but all in all, a pretty, pretty, you know, fair return there. Sure. Um, and uh, another, another food name with Alfredo there. Yeah. You want to hey, let's do the Alfredo Mestro Bioni. Okay. Joe's getting tired, Sam. You need to get these trades on the margins. Correct. We're talking to you, Jed Hoyer. And we talk all about Hoyer coming up next. Today's episode is brought to you by Simply Safe. Did you know that over the holidays, property crimes like burglaries and package theft spike nationally? That's why our friends at Simply Safe Home Security are offering 50% off their award winning security system so that more families can feel safe and secure this holiday season. Order your Simply Safe system for half off today and enjoy advanced security and greater peace of mind this holiday season in an emergency 24 7 professional monitoring agents use fast protect technology exclusively from simply safe to capture critical evidence and verify the threat is real so you can get priority police response simply safe is whole home security with advanced sensors for every room window and door hd security cameras for inside and out and smarter ways to detect motion that alert you only when a threat is real and even hazard sensors that detect fly fires, floods, and other threats to your home. Don't miss your chance to save big on the only security system locked on recommends. Get 50% off any new Simply Safe system at simplysafe.com slash locked on MLB. This is their biggest discount of the year, so don't wait. That's simplysafe.com slash locked on MLB. There's no safe. Like Simply Safe. And apparently, we're not safe from breaking news. And uh, if there's any other news, Sam, please chime in as we're on the air. Once again, we're recording here at about 3 uh, 30 p.m. Central Standard. Jed Hoyer will be entering his third year as Cubs president of baseball operations in 2023. Let's get this conversation moving, Sam. Great. Uh, first impressions of Hoyer and then evaluating the last year. Yeah, I'd like to grade Jed. I think I think he, he, the job that he's done so far, I'm just going to really talk about the last year because yeah, I feel like 20 and 21 were, well, especially 20 was kind of tricky. I thought he hit the, 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 the breaking up of the core out of the park. I've said that many times. If I had to grade those trades individually and, 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 and you know, cumulatively, it would be in the A range. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was exactly what needed to happen. It probably needed to happen sooner. Uh, not probably. It should have. Uh, but where Jed has struggled, um, and, and, and to be fair, his hands were tied these last couple of years, wasn't really allowed to go spend tons and tons of money. The Suzuki deal, the Stroman deal are both very, very much TBD. Um, but where where Jed struggles, and you said it beautifully uh, to close out the uh, uh, last segment, is the margins, right? I'm going to give you some names uh, uh, mm-hmm. um, you know, that come to mind, and, and, and Jonathan Please VR do. comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, right? sure he does. Angelton Simmons comes to mind. Right. Uh, um, I, I don't remember if Descalso was Theo or Jed. I, th- I think it was Theo. Yeah, it um, was. Uh, Steven Souza Jr. comes to mind. Well, that uh, was when Theo was still technically in charge. No, no. Steven Souza Jr. was pre-2020. Oh, did, did, when when did Theo quit? After 2020? Yes. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, what about Daniel Norris? Daniel Norris comes to mind. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, these type Sorry, of trades, you know, these type of moves need to be executed okay. at a higher level. And that's why I joke, I joke around this race tr- trade, but right. at some point the Cubs got to absolutely win these, these minor deals and turn them into big deals. However, with all that being said, it, it's so hard to, to judge Jed. And that's why I want to get this done now. Cause so far, if I had to give him a grade so far, I think ultimately he has done what he's needed to do, which is replenish the farm system. And for the first time in his tenure, he is going to be granted financial flexibility, and we're about to see what he does with it. But my whole point is honestly, and I know this is a cop-out, but the answer is 
you know, it's in the C range, but really it's at, it's an A because every, everything that he needs to do, like I can't emphasize it's incomplete. Enough. It's this off season. This is it. And that's why I wanted to talk about it because game on, you know, if we, if we don't get a Brayu, but we sign Josh Bell and that doesn't work out and we don't get Correa or Turner and we sign Dansby Swanson and that doesn't work out. The window is going to close fast folks. Mm -hmm. You need to capitalize on this financial flexibility and getting the right guys at the right years for the right price. Um, and, and right, you know, sure. If I have to give a grade, it's a C he's done exactly the bare, the bare minimum of what he had to do. He's given us assets in the farm system. We've moved on from the core and we're not in a financial stranglehold anymore, but that's not what being a general manager is about. That's just the very first step and congrats to him for completing it. The next step is putting out a product on that field for the next five to seven years that we're proud of. And I, I again, I truly believe that this off season, the off season between 2022 and 2023, is going to be the off season we look back on for better or for worse, and say that's where things went right or that's where things went wrong. So every single day, these moves are big. I don't want these diet sodas. What do I mean by that? Wow. Oh, it's not, you know, it's not Correa, but we got Dansby for a cheaper price. Or, hey, you know, we didn't get this, but we got this guy. We got Pablo Lopez and not saying, I don't like diet. I like regular. And, um, you know, Jet, Jet has done his job so far, and I've defended him for a while, and I think he was put in a really difficult situation, and he, he is on the right path of getting himself out of that difficult situation. But it starts now. That's fantastic. Not a surprise uh, coming from you. Yeah, that's that's why I, I do get a little bit of a rise of this trade with the Rays. Just and I, and I I was I was deflecting a little bit earlier or kind of making fun of Cubs Twitter, but I get it. I get why these would be dissected. I get why there would be some excitement. I get why there would be some skepticism. And you know, Jed Hoyer, I think over the last year, I would give him you know a C minus. Uh, you know, lower C range, lower 70s percent. Um, I, I didn't like a lot of the signings that he made. I know there were a lot of smaller deals. I know also injuries perhaps impacted some of that. But the jury's still out on, on Stroman and Suzuki as, as Cubs. Is there more breaking news? Yeah, I'd just like to break in really quickly. Sorry to cut you off. The Rizzo, the details of the Rizzo deal. Two years, $34 million with a 2025 option. So basically right along the lines what we thought the Abreu deal would be. 17 a year for Rizzo, not long term. So again, just to, just to make that point, the five years, what was it, a five-year $90 million deal yeah. that Cubs offered him stands up very, very tall. And I wonder if Rizzo just wanted to go back to the Yankees because certainly the Astros wouldn't have get out wouldn't have got out bid for That's him. Because two years, even two years, forty million, mm -hmm. Sam for Abreu would be good. Yeah, so so Rizzo was offered eighteen a million a year at five years for the Cubs, and and now he continues to just take a tad less. It was a very fair deal that Jed offered Rizzo. Go ahead, go ahead. I, and and by the way, I get it. You could have gone a little bit more because it's him. But if he's not taking five years ninety, he wouldn't have taken five years hundred. And anything beyond that's ludicrous with his back problem. Well, what do you think about the price point for Abreu? Then do we get up to forty million? Am I right on that though? Was it was five years ninety the Cubs? Yeah, offered it him, sounds right? right. Yeah. Okay, let me do uh, Well, I don't want it. Sound, we get paid. Uh, we don't get paid to sound right. Well, I'm just telling you, it's, it's it, my first blush is that it's correct. And uh, so we're going to look. No, I, it Cubs offered a four year 60 extension and then later five year 70. So they were still short. Okay. I thought it was five years 90. I knew it was a round number. We yeah. were 20 million off. Yeah, no, that's, that's a large amount. Forget anything I just said. Um, what were you saying? Oh, well, I was uh, saying the price point for Abreu, you know, should, because the Astros wouldn't have got outbid on Rizzo. Two years, forty is probably what what it okay. might take now. And I'm fine with that. I think. Well, no, you know what? Though, be if Abreu is going to DH a little bit more because Rizzo provides tremendous defensive He's value at first, first base. Man, right. may, maybe you can get away with like a two years, thirty five. But 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 like. To me, and I know I don't know anything about the, the industry in terms of like how this works. What let's go. Like, you know, like well, what, what, 
<sighs> you know what I mean? I think the Rizzo deal might be a domino. It, it better be. Like, let's go. I don't want Josh Bell. No, no, he he would be an awful addition. Awful. No, wouldn't make any sense. It's got to be a Bray or Mancini, man. Yeah, and, and and really hoping not the latter, with all due respect. Yeah, but he's a good player with a great story. Yeah, tell that to the postseason. All right, go ahead. I cut you off. <laughs> That's okay. I uh, I don't have much else to say about Hoyer because, uh, quite frankly, I just want him to make some moves this offseason. <laughs> It's going no, to be a I massive don't. winner for him. Hopefully he throws a log on his fire in Lakeview and, and, and gets some of these dudes on the phone. And, and, and I do have the prediction meter right now. Um, I'm giving myself a check for Rizzo to the Yankees. I said, why, why would he want to change when he gets free home runs, when he hits a 280 feet to right field? Um, oh, even boy. though, we, you know, so that's going to be a, a one for one. Obviously my biggest prediction is going to be Carlos Correa to the North side. So, um, yeah, again, look, here's the takeaway today, guys. We don't want diet soda. We don't want diet Coke. We want regular, you know, get me the guys that we want. Sanga, Abreu, Correa, you know, and company. I, I don't want the, those guys to be Lopez, Bell, and Swanson. That's not diet. That, that, that's, that, that's RC diet, whatever. I love it. I love the analogy. We're going to keep using that as we go up throughout the week and, uh, and more, but maybe not much beyond the week, depending on some additions they make. We're going to recap a couple notes from the day that I've seen, Sam, and we're going to do that right after this. Today's episode is also brought to you by Bet Online. Bet Online is your number one source for betting football and the start of the new basketball season. <laughs> what what are you laughing at? Sorry. I'm not... Oh, I'm sorry. I just I, I I like your position right now. You have a nice you have a nice disposition, a nice uh, a nice look about you. What? Yeah, I just I enjoy it. Go, go ahead. Find all the latest player developments, team matchups, news, and in depth analysis on every game. And as always, Bet Online. Remains your continued source for all your sports wager and info with live betting and up to the minute scores for every sport out there. The fastest and easiest way to check in all your favorite games and events, including MLB, MMA, boxing, and golf. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more. Bet online where the game starts. Breaking news. Come on, man. But this is not baseball related. Oh, Goodness gracious. The Chicago Bears have placed Khalil Herbert on injured reserve. You will not see him for at least another month. And the road to oh, a top no. five, the road to a top five pick is driving right through Lake Michigan. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Thanks for that uh, cut in. Uh, we did have a couple more predictions, Sam, on Correa to the Cubs. I know you were the leader in the clubhouse. I just want to accumulate all these. After you from about a month ago, uh, we, we have bet online, which says they're the betting favorites, some other sites as well. Now we have the athletic and serious XM's Jim Bowden on the national side and Gordon Whitmire, NBC Sports Chicago on the local side. Really? They say Correa to the Cubs. Yeah, the latter's a surprise, isn't it? Cause, yeah, because Gordon, Gordon Whitmire covers the Cubs and hates them. Yeah, he's, he's definitely struggled over the years. And uh, reports out of the city of Los Angeles have said that the Dodgers have yet to make a decision on Cody Bellinger. Right. That deadline is on Friday. Anything else here? Um, it's going to be a hectic couple of days. Listen, let's just t tell our listeners what our situation. Obviously, we work during the day for the most part. So right. if something big drops. Let's say tomorrow at 10 a.m. a Bray you drops. I don't think we're going to be able to go live unless I were to move we'll see. things around. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. But, you know, we'll cover it that episode. Make sure we're your first listen when it comes to anything dropping. You're going to get my instant reaction and, and and it might not be good. And 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 you know, you're going to you got you guys well, We're going to tell it like it is. And you guys haven't seen um you know, the emotional negative side of me yet because we took over in July and the season was cooked. Um, you know, so if I feel like we miss on somebody, you're going to see some some questionable things. But ride with us, die with us, please. Um, you know, 
I don't know what else to say. It's snowing. It's officially cold season. Right. It's winter. Uh, Two you know, seasons now. Yeah, it's winter. College basketball is in the air. And a week from today, I'll be stressing out over the World Cup. So, for Sam Olb, no. <laughs> you can. You want to take us home? You can no, try. No, you know, no, 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 no. Drink to Sonny. <laughs> okay. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for Locked On Cubs on YouTube. Smash the like button on all your favorite Locked On Cubs. No content. diet soda. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your pods, drop us a text, 312-834-4634. Also, you got to send us better texts, folks. We're not going to read on the air you suggesting Brennan Davis for Jason Adam. We're not going to read those texts on the air. Okay? that's. Would you agree that's a bad text? I'm not going to say any texts are bad because I appreciate anybody engaging with us. But, yes, that would be one that did not make much sense. Okay. Thanks for making us your first listen every day. Now make your second the Locked On Sports Today podcast. Locked On Sports Today is our 22-minute recap of the previous night in sports. It features local experts on each of the big stories as well as the take of the day from one of the Locked On hosts. That does it here for a Tuesday campaign. For Sam Olber, I'm Matt Cozy. This is Locked On Cubs.